Hello everyone, Maniac here, Maniac Gaming. So happy to, to keep doing these videos for you guys. I, I enjoy it so much, even though so few watch, the few that do make it all worth it for me. So, yeah, I'm sure you already know what, what, what you're coming here to see. Yeah, you, you, you'd be right. We are going to finish the remaining 36 booster packs from that Force of Will Curse of the Frozen Casket pre-release kit that we opened in the last video. We only did uh, half the booster packs out of it. So now we're gonna do the other half. Now, crazy enough, I was spot on and literally opened 36 packs. I, I impress myself sometimes, I really do. But now I've got a pretty good hang of things. So we've got our common foil and we've got our uncommons and here are our uncommons and other birds of paradise Ooh, we got ourselves another uh, red riding hood secret or super rare and a nice foil darkness magic stone very nice very nice so we're gonna set our, our magic stone oh yeah these worthless they, they do nothing anymore i guess they uh, discontinued that whole app um, when it wasn't doing very well, so what can you do? All right, so for our next rare, we've got an eternal recurrence. Now we've got a uh, Arinka second daughter Mikaj. Mikaj. It looks like it says Mirage, but it's Mikaj. Yep. Okay, and we've got another foil. Magic Stone, this time it's a fire. Magic Stone, very nice. Mag those uh, foil Magic Stones are typically got some value to them, especially if they're uh, a rare stone. Alright, so we've got a Rising from the Depths. A Limia? Limia Saint World Awakening? Oh, that's that card again. It's not a bad card. And another foil magic stone. This time a light one. Very nice. Uh, hopefully we can we can get some more uh, um, J rulers and rulers. Well, same thing, but that is where everything is at. So we've got a Dreaming for our rare. I know I just butchered that. Another uh, Demon Crest. Not really much of anything. And another Foil Magic Stone. Some wind. Man, we are killing it with the Foil Magic Stones this time. Last time it was just like back-to-back -back Foil uh, Super Rares. This time it's just back-to-back -back, uh, Foil Magic Stones. Alright, so we've got a... Princess of the Dragon Palace for our rare, a regular Windstone, and a foil rare Birds of Paradise. Tell you what though, not too bad right there. Not too bad. All right, so we've got uh, Zero's Magic Light. We've got a Water Magic Stone and an Eternal Recurrence for a Foil Rare. Come on, bring out the rulers. No, not those rulers. All right, we've got an Ancient Automaton, a Water Magic Stone, and a Foil Red Riding Hood. Um, we'll put all foil secret rares right there. Or super rares. I, I keep saying secret rares. I'm still stuck in Pokemon mode. Alright. So we got another Zero's Magic Light. A Light Stone. And a Lumia Saint. This time a foil secret rare. Or super rare. <sighs> All 
Okay, another ancient automaton, fire magic stone, and this time a foil zeros magic light. Uh, foil rare. So how's everybody been doing? You guys uh, playing uh, Force of Will, just picking up cards, Pokemon, any video games? You guys playing anything good? I mean, I, I do know there's a, a really fantastic game out right now. You guys may have heard of it. It's called, uh, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I know, I know, I know. A lot of people that, you know, are ultra purists probably aren't really digging it. I know a lot of people are, don't really like the combat system. I don't mind it. I, I think it's it's pretty good. Another uh, foil rare. The uh, the camera leaves something desired. And if you get a little too excited with the, uh, the lock on, you just kind of like jump between enemies without really meaning to and end up not being able to see anything. But throughout the uh, little bit of time there that I've been going at it, I'm getting a little bit more used to it the more I play it. So just finish... Uh, Destroying the Airbuster. Um, whether you've played the original or through that part on the remake, it doesn't. That's not a spoiler. Just, 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 just a heads up. No spoiler. Oh, an uncommon foil that time. Looks like that over there. But I will say though, and that this will be a. I guess a spoiler warning to people that have never even played the original. When you fall from after the uh, Sector 5 reactor explosion, um, and you land in the church where you meet Aerith, or Eris, you know, depending on your preference. I prefer Aerith. But uh, when you talk to Aerith for the first time, and suddenly you have... This is not carried over from the original, but kind of. But they uh, kind of do a little cut static blurb kind of deal. And they show a very slight glimpse at a cinematic that happens in the original game. Now, if you're like me and you've um, at least played the game once, personally, I've played it... I don't even think I have enough appendages to account on to how many times I've played through that game. Oh, we got a nice uh, rare magic stone here. Magic stone of the deep wood. Very nice. But, uh, like, that hit and just the way it hit, like, I'm the kind of guy that gets, you know, emotionally attached to characters, especially when I'm really... You know, finding myself involved in the story, and and you know, I really care about the characters and and how things are going. Oh, we've got a uh, pretty nice little secret right there, and a foil magic stone of blasting waves. That's very nice, very very nice. I will take it. But uh, just like you know, meeting her again for the first. Well, I guess technically the second is you meet her early on as the uh, flower girl, but um, that whole real introduction of the character, you know, so it, it was, it's already, you know, emotional at that point. Oh, another foil magic stone of, of light vapors. This one's a textured. Very nice. Very, very nice. But like th that whole meeting and then how they slipped in that staticky cut from a uh, cinematic from the original game, like, I felt my throat nod up. It just nodded right up. Say what you want. A little uh, fiery chariot red guy, this time a foil variant. Nothing too special there, though. But yeah, I, I'm enjoying the game. That That's about as far as I've gotten. I know, I know, I'm... I'm slacking hard. I want to... 
I want to get through it, but at the same time, I, I want to take my time. I'm, I'm in no rush. I am steering very clear. Oh, here we go. We got our first J ruler. We've got uh, Mars Fort. Uh, God, oh, Mars Fortuneller of Firestar. I can barely read these texts. And Mark Mars Dark Commander of Fire. And it is the textured foil variant of this J ruler. Very, very nice. And we'll stick that one in its very own cool guy pile up there. So that is three J rollers that I've gotten out of this pre-release kit. And I can get a bunch more of these things. I just might do it because if the value is this good in all of them, why not, right? Oh, they're uh, textured, super rare. This time it's uh, Sorceress of Heaven's Wind. Uh, where would I put my foil super, super rares? There we are. Okay. But yeah, I mean, barely have enough time to, you know, get these videos up for you guys and running a small LGS plus working full time and being a father and a husband, all that good stuff. Like I'm surprised I have time at all to, to do anything, but I manage somehow that I do that I do. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys, see how everybody else is, is doing. Oh, very nice. We got ourselves another J Ruler this time. It is Yogg Sathoth, uh, the Chaos of a Thousand Doors. It's just a standard foil J Ruler, not a, a textured variant. Very nice. That's So that's four J Rulers we've gotten out of this pre-release kit. And we still have a uh, little more than a third of a booster box to go. Very nice. Oh, we got another rare magic stone. And oh, that's just a, a foil uncommon. Oh, nope, not there. There. Now, uh, those of you, you know, Force of Will fans that are actually watching this, not just, you know, Magic and Pokemon fans that happen to be checking this out out of curiosity, the rare Magic Stone. Are you guys, uh, excited for the new, uh, Ghost in the Shell booster box is coming out? Came really close. To allocating some. Kind of wish I had, but... I didn't. I should have. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I won't be able to get any. Another rare magic stone. Just means I won't have them on release day. But no biggie. There's always... Uh, I believe that's what Alice Origin 3 is coming out, uh, I think, a couple weeks afterwards. Another uh, super rare. And a, another foil rare magic stone, this time the magic stone of light vapors. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, the set looks really cool. I'm. I am digging the uh the force of will art style and whatnot nice little as an off super rare and another foil rare magic stone this time gusting skies very nice very very nice so i mean if you've never you know purchased curse uh curse for force of will and you're thinking about you know you just 
maybe popping your your first wheel cherry i do recommend um doing pretty much opening this set that i'm opening right now and that's uh curse of the frozen casket there's actually you know a lot of very desirable cards from this set and which is really surprising considering you know how cheap it is you can jump on ebay right now pick up a booster box for 25 bucks and get yourself you know a really good collection going on the cheap so if you're you know on the fence about jumping in the force of will i do recommend curse of the frozen casket now, granted, I mean, if, if you're thinking, you know, oh, I'm going to get a bunch of cards and jump right into, uh, you know, LGS hosted events and, and try to, you know, win some stuff, I don't recommend buying this. Ooh, we got a uh, textured foil Priest of Darkness. Very nice, very nice. But the newer sets, um, Alice Origin is expensive and the main reason why it's expensive is because there was very little product put out like so it's rare and you know, just the way how things go if it's rare it is expensive nice little another textured full rare there sometimes that tiger lily it's very pretty but uh we got the uh, new Valhalla cluster, which is uh, uh, Strange of the New Valhalla, uh, Awakening of the Ancients, and um, New Dawn Rises. Uh, there, oops, I put commons in the uncommon spot like a dumb dumb. Um, they're not terribly expensive, and they're still uh, thirty six pack. Uh, booster uh, 36 pack booster boxes versus uh, the newer uh, Alice Origin, which are likely going to cost you the same amount of money as those booster boxes, but more or more. I want to say uh, I'm seeing Alice Origin selling for like almost 80 bucks a booster box, 70 80 bucks for the uh, first Alice Origin. I think Alice Origin 2 is also right about that price range and it's only 20 packs a box so whereas new valhalla cluster is just a cluster just before it is uh right about you know 50 to 60 maybe 70 dollars tops range and that's a 36 pack booster box so and it's still you know new enough to where you know, you're probably going to, you know, if you have a, a force of will community near you, they are still very likely to be playing a lot of um, New Valhalla Cluster stuff. So, All right, last pack. Let's see if we can snag us a fifth J-Ruler. Probably not, but maybe. And, nope. A little zeros familiar. But okay, that's it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm sure you're getting used to the cycle by now if you've been you know, keeping up with my videos. Next up will be uh, Pokemon. And then uh, Magic after that. Maybe I'll slip in a little buddy fight or something you know, in between. If you're enjoying the videos, please, you know, subscribe like my videos they liking them helps out a whole lot and if you want to know every time i put up a new video hit that bell and you'll know every time thanks again you guys have a good one bye, -bye.